Hello Zebra Herd! In today's episode of Splatoon 3, we are checking out the custom Dually Squelchers. These Dually Squelcher variants are paired up with the Squid Beacon and the Super Chump. Let's go take a look! So here is the custom Dually Squelcher, high on range and mobility, but low on damage. We've played the original Dually Squelchers a little bit, and they're fun for sure, but with the Squid Beacon and the Super Chump, it will make some things different. So we'll go ahead and exchange our ticket to go ahead and equip this. And with that being said, I think, uh, Whoops, I did not mean to try to buy them twice. We'll go to the lobby, we'll, we'll check them out really quickly before we get into some action. Last episode, I did try to do the rank up battle and it didn't turn out successfully, so hopefully we can make our way back up throughout today's episode. We'll have to wait and see, but as you can see with the Dually Squelchers, they keep a nice and safe distance while also having the benefit of rolling around like a Dually can, so that's always really cool. Um, if we are to keep, you know, earning up some inks here, we can you know, t have one of the uh, jump spots. Always good to have those. And if we fill up enough stuff on the ink, we can get this right here. Scatter those decoys all around, making some big explosions, really controlling an area. That's always great. So let's hop into some turf war to warm up a little bit. We gotta wait for this to go down. Now it'll work. We have uh, Brimewater Springs and Inkblot Art Academy as our first two maps here in turf war. Let's get going. So Inkblot Art Academy is our first round. Like I said before, I'm very focused in on uh, just getting used to the weapons here in Turf War so that hopefully we can really bring the heat and rank today. Get back up to that uh, rank up battle opportunity would be great, but we got lots of turf to cover over this way and with our long range, we should really be able to get to it, right? Here's hoping. We got some stuff over here and it seems like we don't have like the craziest team in the world for covering up turf, but with an arrow spray on our team, maybe we can make it work. I just gotta be careful because, ooh, actually, yeah, use up whatever ink I have. Oh, the missiles are coming in. Gonna roll out of the way at those. Now, I launch it over there. I get splatted by a Booyah Bomb. I didn't even see that that was coming in. Yikes, but at least we got some of the decoys out there. They won't do too much, but they do cover up some of the, the turf. So, happy to see that. Our teammates have been hard at work over here, so that's good. I will sort of put one of these here. It's a safe spot for it, but ooh, get over here. Able to get one spot pretty easily right over there, and there's a player over this way. If I can just keep decent aim, I can at least give them a hard time. Not enough to splat them. Now I'm out of ink. I'm a little scared. Why did I do it that way? Who knows? Ah, uh, almost got them. I should have conserved my ink when he was charging up the Booyah Bomb. I thought I could maybe damage him down enough to splat him, or at least be fast enough to do that, but it didn't quite work. Um, It's okay, because we still got one spot out of that whole thing. Almost got two. I don't see anybody else. Oh, no, wait, here you are. Uh, I need a backup from you, and I need some help over here as soon as possible. Um, ooh, got you, I got at least one of them. Man, it is a little tough when they do close range like that, but we're able to make it work one way or another. I do see a little spot over there that's not covered. If I could just actually get over there, it's gonna be a good idea. Right now we are in danger now, and it just has me a bit nervous. So if we could just, Maybe even just throw that over there, it might immediately get destroyed though, unfortunately. And the one thing I'm trying to do is conserve my ink a little bit. Come on, get you over here, please! Are you kidding me? Can I get one splat without getting immediately splatted right after? Ugh, that's not so good, because the last minute is coming up here. Things are feeling a little rough. We have a lot to uncover, including a whole section down here. And it doesn't seem like they're over here, so as long as we can get the majority of it uncovered, make a little path me over here. And if I could get onto the high ground or something, where did you go? Uh, I thought I saw you go over this way. I'm gonna launch it over there like a, no, come on, get out of here. <laughs> Every time I turn the corner, they might get at least a little blown up by that. I don't think quite enough to get us a splat, but oh no, I got one splat. Awesome, awesome. So here's our chance. Let's give it everything we have just to get out there, get some splats on some of the opponents. I wanna get up this way if possible and then just really try to cause them some issues because I see you over here. And the only issue I have is that I can't, you know, really spit out a lot of ink before running out. But I can get back over there. I can try to spot you. I'm able to do it. Then I saw you over this way. I don't know if I can quite be an arrow spray player. Unfortunately, I can't. But our teammates might be able to push back. A lot of them are still around. I'll jump over to some of them. Just really fully just go for it this time. Three seconds remaining. I might be able to do something. Ah, oh, not quite. But we might have been able to turn it around right at the end. Ooh, it's gonna be close for sure, but the tally up will really answer it for us. Oh, not quite. We lose by 1.5%, but it was a really good fight. We were in danger for so long 
if I could have just splatted that arrow spray player, probably a different result. So definitely some room for improvement, but not a bad start at all. Super close round. Okay, so as you can see, three gold medals there for overall splatter, popular target, and one, one other one. So overall, I'm not too unhappy about that. We'll hop back into another round and see if we can't get a win this next time, but even with that being said, somebody disconnected on their team, so maybe it wasn't as close of a game as I thought. Either way, I'm sure next round will definitely be a lot better. Round two has us on Brinewater Springs. We've been in this map a good few times. I think that this might work out pretty well with the Dooley Squelchers, just because we do have a lot of like long range, sort of more open opportunities. I definitely like the looks of. I feel like a lot of the time we were getting spotted around corners and stuff. Not too many people touching the home base to start with. Always a bit questionable, but we have so much time left in this round for players to come back around and get some of the stuff spotted and such. I will fill up right here. Just get us a little jump spot. Okay, they know exactly where I am. Let's help out with the Booyah Bomb a little bit then. If I have to stay back, I might as well get a little fancy with it. And then right when they think, you know, we're gonna be over here, I'll get a bunch of these launched over. It doesn't seem like they quite see me over here. I was happy that I got that splat with this thing before too. Not a really common thing to experience, so I'm glad I could, could at least show that. Uh, where did you go? You were right over there. Now you're right over here, and I might be done for one more roll. Was enough for back? Ah, come on. I dodged all the tri strikes, but the booyah bomb too. Man, that was so much. But look at how much is still covered over here. Um, we got to cover this stuff up. So hopefully my teammates can actually help me with this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got all that figured out. I think I wanna jump down this way, at least get a little bit of it covered up. If they jump down, I can maybe give them an issue. Gotta make sure that my ink is getting filled up wherever I can. I know they're about to come around this corner, so if I could just splat them like that. I got most of their health, but not all of it. Ooh, come on. And I see you over here. I'm able to get you a little bit, but once again, not all the way. I'm launched one of those over there. They got me back though, darn. Ooh, this is tough, because they're just really giving it everything they got. And we just still, still have like these little spots back in our base, so we're just not getting covered up. And of course, it's always fun to run out there and get splats, but what's the point of all that if we don't get any kind of uh, win for it? Okay, they are really chasing me over here. If I could just maybe get back over this way, gotcha, and then I see you over here. You're trying to run from me? Not on my watch, we get two splats. I see you over this way, I'm gonna just try to go crazy on you. That's three splats for us. The other teammate is over here, where did they go? Over here, come on, Julie versus Julie, I'm able to get them four splats now. This is our chance, if we can just get out there. Come on team, come on team, boom. Launch one of those right over there, roll, roll! Ah! <laughs> okay, go, 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 right over here. Get the aerospray player quick, 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 quick. Teammates, where are you? <laughs> We're able to get another one. A teammate was able to knock them out. Awesome. Whew. But we're still not quite done with this. There's a lot of teammates here fighting with the opponents. I just don't know if it's enough. Put that right there. I need to fill up on ink now is a problem. And they're trying to throw those tri sticks at me like that. But I'm able to splat one. Can I get a second splat? Yes, I can. We're really cleaning up now. So if I can get it this way, I don't know if they have any enemies over here. It looks like they jumped over. So at least get rid of the sprinkler. And then back over here, I need to put a stop to you. Where do you think you're going, huh? There we go. We're really starting to clean up now, but they get me so good with the squiffer there. Uh-oh. It's all up to my teammates now. I just don't have too much more time left to do anything. Um, well, I might be able to do a little more, but this jump is gonna take some time. Oh, come on. Unfortunately, I think they just fought back a little too hard, and they won again. But man, I did everything I feel like I could have there. Uh, it's taking its time right now. Did it disconnect? I think it might have disconnected. I'm not really sure. I tried, I really tried. But once again, it's another loss. I feel like we still played well that round. I do think that there was maybe a disconnect on like the roles that everyone should be playing, considering that we had some weapons on our team that were really good at covering turf, but we just like barely even got our home base covered at, covered at first. Usually that's not a good sign. But I guess we'll see. We got number one overall splatter, home base anchor, and enemy splatter. Um, as you can see, lots more experience there. I'm pretty happy with their performance. Eight sl splats by the end of it. Those were some pretty crucial ones towards the end too. Once again, they had a player disconnect and we still couldn't win. I don't know when they disconnected and all that though. So I don't know if that really matters. Either way, let's go for one more round of turf war. Okay, another round in Inkbot Art Academy. This one, we were so close to getting a win. Can we make it happen this time? Guess we'll find out in just a moment. 
I'm a little bit worried about our team composition in terms of like weapons and stuff compared to the enemies, but we're not gonna worry about it too much right now. All we can do is just get out there, get some turf covered, maybe get some spots on the way and have some fun. Most importantly, number one, Splatoon rule, have fun. You don't have to win to have fun, but I think if you learn something each round while you're having fun, it's usually a good opportunity where you can actually win quite a lot. Okay, let's set this up right there, and then if I could just use all of that to jump up here, and then, ooh, I was able to get one person. I'm able to beat them up a little bit too. Um, Come on. Okay, I'm able to splat. It was a little bit of a trade. They wasted their Booyah Bomb on me when I was already splatted. So honestly, in terms of opportunity cost, I think that was a really good move. I'm sort of starting to crack the code a little bit here with this, and it looks like a lot of our teammates are still trying to clean this up. So let me help you out with that. There we go. No, you don't. Ooh, maybe you will. Ooh, able to roll around them. That was pretty good. And then I'm setting up the jump over here. Hey, watch it. I need some help, I think. Oh, they got the, the wave breaker. I'm trying to break that from this angle. It's sort of unfortunate. Don't do it, don't do it. Run it away, run it away. Oh my gosh, it's just too much to get away from. Hopefully my team's you know, making some strides while that's happening, because I feel like three of them were on me, I, th I think I saw. I mean, I feel like that's just one of the things, right? If you see your teammate and you're not really in a position to help them, and there's a lot of people on top of them, at least take that opportunity to really get some turf covered, you know? Ooh. Come on, able to get one. A lot of stuff going for me at the moment, so if I could just get up here, get some of this stuff, launch that over there. I feel like that'll cause a big problem for them, and then, oh, I might be in trouble. Oh, I am so in trouble. Ooh, I feel like I needed to roll one more time there. Teammate's able to get another one now. Oh, they tossed the Booyah Bomb over here. Let's do what we can to get rid of that, please. Come on. Gotcha. And then I'll do everything over here. It looks like my teammates are struggling. They're really struggling. I'm trying to help. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, getting me because I'm rolling into the wall. Ah, oh, that is the worst. I just, <laughs> I hate it when Splatoon just in general when he gets squished up against the wall and the camera just does not help you. Come on, come on. And win or lose, we're still getting good progress with, you know, just practicing this weapon. Come on, gotcha. That was pretty nice. I know they're throwing Booyah Bombs over that way. I can't do too much about that, but I can get out here, cause a huge issue, launch it over that way. They don't seem to be stopping me too much at the moment. And I don't know where they are is a concerning problem. Okay, there was an Aerosport player over there, and we got ourselves a drink. Really, that got me? It didn't get me. Somebody else behind me got me. 10 seconds remaining. I gotta launch out right now and just get whatever I can covered up. Just whatever I can do over here. I do see another player over that way and they got me again. Ah, oh, that is the worst. Yikes. So I don't think we won this one either, unfortunately, but this one, I feel like it was really the game. I don't think there was any players or anything, but if you look at you know our weapons versus their weapons, it wasn't the best balance in my opinion. I feel like we had like the best turfing weapon on the team. So I was trying to sort of take up this situation where I could splat, but also get some, some turf covered. It just wasn't perfect. I feel like if I'm the only splat weapon on the team, we really need something better than like that super jump spot. With that being said, we still played well. We got 1200 points covered up there. I got um three gold medals. We didn't play bad at all, but it just wasn't quite enough to keep up with what their team had. So still overall pretty fun rounds. I feel like we did really good with the dually squelchers, the custom dually squelchers, just not quite enough for the wins. So let's try some splat zones in Anarchy Battle series. I think this has actually some really good potential with our weapons. So we're hopping straight into them and I'm hoping this is where we'll start seeing some victories. All right, next up we got Flounder Heights. In Splat Zones, this could prove uh, to be quite difficult, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, so don't get caught up in covering turf. I know that sometimes when I play turf for a little bit, I sometimes get the urge just to cover up turf when I move to the next game mode. Not what we need to do at the moment, so I just need to cover this stuff up like crazy. Then get over here and fall. Uh, whoops. Oh, I see you over there. Oh no, oh, I really messed up my aim there. They just went straight under all of my shots. I need to definitely focus on that splatter scope player. That'd probably be a better idea. And they're in control, yikes. So definitely not the best mistakes to be making straight away. And they got me caught over here. So if I could just back it up, not go anywhere too surprising, then I can get up here and try to fight them a little bit. Once again, my range is not enough. They're able to lose control for a second, but then just take it right back, which honestly might end up being a problem considering that they don't have any reserve now. 
Yeah, I guess I could see the problem up here is that once they get the high ground control, it's really hard to beat them out of it. So if I could just get over here really fast, go like this really fast, really fast, get up here and then try to fight them. Come on, if I could get that spot, that's huge. And then just, uh, did that work? I don't know if that worked, but we're gonna find out where those are gonna end up going. They lost control, back up, here we go. Roll through this way, come on, can I get you? How are you that fast? How are you that fast? Come on, no! Oh, I can't keep up with you. Such a shame, your friend was able to save you from all that. I feel like we made some good moves, it just wasn't quite enough. We're in control though, that's great. Oh man, so stressful. So while that's happening, guess who's over here? Uh, somebody trying to give me issues. I need to make sure, I think the one, who did that? How did you, did they just poke up one more time and throw just one little droplet? Oh, come on. The one thing I gotta keep in mind with this weapon is that with other dualies, I feel like you need to roll towards them or to the side. With this one, we're primarily focused on rolling away. If we can roll backwards, we typically have the range advantage on most weapons. Uh oh, the auto bomb is not a fun one to deal with. If I could just maybe do something like this and then launch yourselves upwards. Come on, come on. But there's just too many people and not enough room up there. I don't know if this is a good map for this weapon. Just because there's not a lot of room to sort of back up in that way. Oh, they're taking it back. We've only gotten six measly points so far. But they have a reserve to work through, so maybe, just maybe, to make some things happen. I'm able to get you a little bit there. Not enough to fully finish you off, though, which is so upsetting. I'm trying to just put this down for a second, um, and then let's launch it over there. Sure, why not? Um, they lost control. We're in control. There we go. I think our teammates are getting some good splats over that way. If we could just get down this way, too. And while they're all over there, yeah, really make it hard for them to do much. I don't know if this is exactly gonna work out. I don't know where any of them went. Um, they're all over here. I need to back up again, like I said before. I just can't quite make these shots land. Ooh, wait, 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 no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, they're throwing all their specials in. They just take control, no problem because of that. I'm just not combating them well, I guess, so far. But as we try to push our way back out here, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the custom dually sculpture so far? Is this a weapon you've tried? If so do you think it's worth its while? Can we please, please splat them? Yes, I got them. So now I can get back up here, throw that out there like this. Hope it makes some kind of difference. Why did my character just stop there? I don't know, but it was really upsetting. I got one splat. Can I get two? I can get two splats. That was actually a really big deal because we have this player over here. They're trying to back up. Awesome. But right over here, we need to cover this stuff up fast. We're in control over that way. I got some of this. If I could, even if I just sneak it right here, and then just go crazy on you. Boom, easy splat right there. Oh, I see you over here. If I can get you and not panic and miss every single one of my shots. Hi, everybody. <laughs> the whole team has figured out exactly where I am. Oh, man. Huh, let's jump it over, just like that. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh no, ooh, ah, oh, come on, that is so frustrating. They just sort of popped up right in front of me. I tried to react to it, but then somebody else landed on them. I mean, we're slowly about to take the lead back. I feel like I'm making this situation out to be worse than it is. It's just because I'm so focused in. Putting a lot of pressure on myself here to make things happen. Okay, if they try to get past this, I can give them a really, really hard time. And I just gotta keep in mind that I have some good range. Okay. Getting out here then, and missing every single shot. Oh my goodness, okay, I got you on the way down. That's actually a big, big deal, because I could do this, launch this over just like that. Oh, okay, wait a minute, they're popping up over here. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh, a few seconds remaining. We're back in control, we can push it in the overtime. We lost control, get it back then. Um, I can't see a single thing, we lost control. Oh no! It was so close, but not quite enough. So it looks like they're gonna win that one too. Oh, oh no, we won. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought they had control. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say a fourth loss in a row, but I, I guess we won. Never mind, lost streak bo broken. We were able to make a major comeback there too. Great job to my team. They really held it together. But uh, as you can see, we get three gold medals for it. That's a huge deal. Eight spots got spotted eight times. So pretty even there. Really cool round for sure. And boom, because it's our first one of the day, we actually get that catalog level up and we can stick with the team. Okay, so let's go with this. 
This is uh, the newest map. I forget the name of it, but we're heading out there. Hopefully we can win this one too. I'm so, so excited to see if we can get another win. Um, I don't know if I asked last time, but I'd love to hear as we're heading out here, what are your thoughts on this weapon? I did ask, so never mind. But you know, in case you didn't remember to tell me before, I guess uh, you can tell me now. Ooh, good spot over there. Getting rid of that as soon as possible. And it looks like they're really trying to get this one. This one's a little bit different, of course, only one splat zone, so I can launch all that over there. And then I really want to try to get over to them, or at least make it so that they can't get over as easily. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are all over the place and so am I. So I didn't do very well there, but I can jump over to this thing as soon as possible. There we go, I'm jumping over. And so far they're in control, but that was the same story last round. We found a way to win it. So, oh my goodness, what do you want? Get out of here. Oh, that was actually a really good spot. Happy about that one. Um, heading over here then. Um, this player doesn't quite see me, but somehow they're just able to swim away. There we go, Never mind. we got it. Uh, they're definitely tracking me at the moment. If I can just cover up a little bit more turf, I can launch another one of these over, and then I can start rolling around. Ooh, come on, come on. Ah, no way! It's just so hard to keep up with them. Of course, the one downside to this weapon, I feel like, and that's the same thing with the Squelcher, is that the long distance means that these um, attacks have a really long travel time. And so it can be a little bit more difficult than you'd expect to stay accurate. Okay, I'm able to get that. Obviously, on something like that, it's a, ooh, it's a static target. Oh, not so good. We're getting really locked into the back here. Come on, go, go, go. Oh no, ooh, got it, got it. But that's just too much. Unfortunate that they were just able to keep us pinned down. I don't think our weapon combo really worked too well for this map either, but we'll try again next round. So we got one win and one loss so far with this series. But it also doesn't just matter about that, it matters what medals we're getting, so hopefully we get at least something. I don't know though, we might not. Uh, I think it wouldn't have already shown us. I think it would have, so I might have not made any medals that time. No, I do, I, I still get three gold ones. Number one overall, Sputter Turf Inkered, popular target. Cool, at least it's something. As long as we can get those medals, we can still at least make more points than we deposited in. All right, well, new maps and mode, so we'll see what this ends up meaning for our series. I'm a little nervous, but uh, hopefully it's just not Clan Blitz. I, I just really, really want it to not be Clan Blitz. If it is, I'll probably just wait till some other time. It's Rainmaker, okay. Ma Rainmaker on Mincemeat Metalworks and Mahi Mahi Resort. Okay, here we are at Mincemeat Metalworks. With the Rainmaker now. It's not Splat Zones. Honestly, this could be pretty cool because you know we'll have that one static thing we can sort of focus on a little bit more than we would with uh, everything else. So if we go like this and roll around, obviously that just gives us the opportunity to pop it and somebody gets splatted. So that's amazing to see. I think there might be some people over here. I'm a little nervous about that, but I almost got you. Got a couple of shots on you. I went a little too close. Gotta keep in mind what this weapon is for. You let the people like the splatter shot players and the splash o get close. I can see the distance. And it looks like they might be able to get a checkpoint here. Very unfortunate, but it's okay because I can just work on splatting you a little bit. I'm able to get you before you can do too much. Now, we need to clean all of this up as much as possible before they really get too close over here. And I saw you over there. I'm able to get you a little bit, but then I get up here and I'm just gonna splat this person. Nice, able to get them one way or another. Throw that stuff all over there. You're falling down for some reason. I probably shouldn't have followed you too much, but come on, come on. They're throwing that Booyah Bomb over this direction. So if I could just splat them, that's pretty big. Oh, but they just able to splat me right back. So I don't know where the Rainmaker is. I feel like maybe somebody cut around and was just able to take it, which is not good. They lost a Rainmaker. I was just trying to make a way and make a path for my teammates, but maybe I just need to stay back a bit more. So we could work on popping this. They're throwing the rain cloud over. I don't like that. So first destroy that thing. And then I see you over here. Once again, I'm getting a little too close, but I'm able to at least trade a spot. We lost your maker. How did we even pick it up in that time? <laughs> I don't know. So, so far, very silly, but we have the Rainmaker again. I need to just go straight back out there, put something like this down, and then they don't see me. So I'm able to get a pretty easy spot there. I don't know why they would go that way like that, but they're trying to give me an issue over there. Not quick gonna work for them. We need to go this way, this way, this way. I will keep them back as much as I can. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I feel like there was a lot of space to move forward. I'm a little confused, but we do get through the checkpoints. So we are fighting for the lead. We are almost there. I do need to be very careful here. I might be done for. Yes, I am. That couldn't have been worse time. They have the Rainmaker and they're just gonna go straight back with it. Okay, I probably should just jump to this. Okay, come on, go, 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 go. 
right over here, right? Come on, come on. I can't believe that, but we're able to still splat them. Ugh, this is a really intense one because we were finally about to catch up there, then they took the lead again. Able to work on the splat over that way. See you guys over here, I'm able to get one. Can I get two? I can get two, that's great. We gotta go this way. Come on, come on. Where are they going? Not over here apparently, so I need to help out because you're over this way. And then, oh, behind me, behind me maybe. Uh, launch it over that way, there's a lot going on over here. I saw you over there, come on, slap in there. Got that guy too, awesome. Run, run over. I have to roll into the bubbles and that's never too useful. There's just so much going on, the huge white bat. Oh my goodness, come on, push, push, push. We have taken the lead and oh, they just made a huge mistake, I think. Okay, and right back out because they just sort of went to that bottleneck and got exploded by the Rainmaker, I think. Um, I see them over here, so if I could just do this, Splat them like that, they are definitely panicking. They're definitely panicking. I'm able to splat one of them. Um, I couldn't get the other one because I was running out of ink. They're gonna run away, I get knocked out. I'm being really silly there, I was just panicking. Whew, crazy stuff. All right, I can't launch that one. I guess it got destroyed at that exact moment. They do have the Rainmaker, but they lost it again. And I see you over here, not happening, buddy. Gotcha, that was a huge splat too. We could try to work on this. I think that, I'll just set that up for now. Then we can pop this thing. I don't know if I wanna be the one who takes it, but if nobody else is going to. Okay, no, they took it, they took it. I will try to get up here and just try to really give them some problems. Like I see you over here and you. They're very focused on a lot of stuff right now. Able to maybe get another spot right there. Wipe out and there it is, what a game. We fought so hard for that one and it worked out in the end. So exciting, Rainmaker could be so much fun. And boom, we get the full knockout. Very cool. So we got number one overall splatter, enemy splatter, and first spot is our silver medal. Surprised we didn't get any other gold medals there, but two golds and silver is still really nice. I think so far we've gotten some really gold, good gold medals for this uh, series. So if we can just keep that going, 23 spots throughout that round. Very crazy. We still need three more victories though if we want to get through it all. So hopefully next round will go just as good as this one did. And we do get the abilities unlocked for this gear. So I think we'll just keep with this um, until the end of the round or the episode. So stick with this team. All right, so let's get to it right over here. Same map as before. So I think we can get a win. Got it. Ooh, got you right there. I'm able to get one spot, but I did put myself in a bit of a vulnerable position for that. But hopefully my teammates can just, you know, take the advantage of that. I can jump over to somebody. I do want to be careful. They might try to spot me while I'm up here. But maybe what I can do is just put this down like that. My teammates are really fighting here. Well, I see you right over there. Oh, but they see me too, so I gotta keep that in mind. It's another trade with that person. We lost a Rainmaker, but way up there, right? So that's not so bad. I think we'll just go like this. I'll put another one right down where it was. Yeah, we got the checkpoint and everything. So even if they have the crab tank over here, unless they're really gonna fight us for it, I think we're okay. There we go, there we go. I think I just really pushed my way up and if I could just get a couple of spots like this, that'd be a big deal. The problem is I can't see. <laughs> I wish when there's something blocking your vision like that, they'd at least make it slightly transparent. But no, it's just a big bubble exploding in my face. What do they think they're doing over here? Apparently a lot of stuff, but if I can splat them, I can at least get rid of the source of it. They broke through the barrier this time. I don't know. Visually, this game can be so messy. And right back out there. We do have the point lead by one, but they are aiming to change out. Come on, up, oh, yep, they took the lead. Don't you dare. Come on, come on. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that is the worst. I just, I needed to go ever so slightly closer, but it just was not working. They lost a Rainmaker. What do you think you're doing up here? There we go, there we go. Gotcha before that killer whale went out, which is always good. I do see this all over here. This is actually a chance. We can splat you really easy. There's nobody else over here, right? Okay, good work. They got down to 46. Where do you think, oh, you're just gonna go closer to me. See, they know how to handle it. They're getting really close to me where I can't really fight them as well. I had my special there too. I probably should have used it, but I wanted to save it for a better time. Okay, a lot of the uh, enemies are still really fighting us here. I just need to head out this way and then go out like this, splat you and your friend. 
turn back around because I know that you're right down there. That's three splats for us. And there was a fourth player, of course. Ah, oh, man, if I could have gotten them. That was, if I got them, it would have been a wipeout, but they got me and it was a wipeout. They have the Rainmaker, but it's just them. So in theory, it's gonna be that hard just to get over here. They're just trying to kill time with it while their teammates come back up. But it looks like we're able to wipe them out one way or another. It wasn't a huge wipeout because it was just like moments before they come back up. But, yep, I'm trying my best here because I know that they're walking down this way. Where are they, where are they? Um, okay, you know what? Ooh, they are really trying to get me here. I'm able to get one. There was another person right down this way. Come on, come on, don't let them get me. Oh, darn, I was so close to getting that. Can't believe they were able to reach me there with a splash of matic like that. Really shows I need to be making even more distance. They have the Rainmaker. And I think I could probably sneak up behind them if we needed to, but um, they lost the Rainmaker. Here, come on, up here. Get at least a couple of shots like that on their way back down. I saw you over here, but then you ran off to who knows where. I guess over here. Got you, got you, got you. I'm sending this over that way then. A lot of this stuff going down now. Teammates are jumping over, so I'm trying to you know protect them as much as possible. Ooh, ooh, back it up actually. Uh, I need to really make some distance here if I can. Ugh, not like that, not like that. Oh, don't you dare. Ah, oh, man, once again, bumping against the wall, messing up my camera. Not good. I mean, we were so close. Oh, no, we did take the lead there. So at least that's good if we could play defensively. That is one way to win this. Such an intense episode so far. I'm giving it everything I got. With one minute remaining, I think we just go over here and splat you, please. Oh my gosh. Got me again with that splash amount. They're really good with that. Oof, come on, run, run. They lost Rainmaker to full team life out too. I think they sort of trickled out there, which is definitely a huge risk of that happening. Okay, we could grab it. I guess we might as well. I'm going to head this, Never mind. <laughs> they got me fast. They got me so fast there. I think I'm better off being a Rainmaker defender than I am to uh, be a holder of it. Okay, I see you over here. I can maybe get you. I got you, I got you. Um, they have the Rainmaker, but I need to make some distance. I can't, and it was just too, too cover there. I really couldn't cleanly make my way out. Come on, 10 seconds remaining. We still have the lead, but only 10 seconds remaining. Um, they're gonna try to take it back here. So if we can just not get caught up in the ink like that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting too covered. Did we win? Did they win? I don't know, I think we won. Which is weird, because they still had the Rainmaker there. Maybe the enemy team, or our, our, our teammate was able to spot them. Nah, they were able to steal it. I thought that we were in the lead at some point. Maybe we weren't. I always misread it when I'm in the middle of the action. I guess they did have it. Really, I thought. Now that I'm looking back, I think I did get it mixed up before. Either way, really rough round. From a good round to a not so good round, the same thing happened in Splat Zones, which is not good. We can't just do this win one, lose one situation, because as you can see, we only need to lose three. We need to win five, so we'll have to see how the sixth round goes. It might be the deal breaker. I guess we'll stick with the team to find out. Okay, so will this be the loss that sends us packing home, or will we be able to find a win here on this map? It's this map again, so we're not even really trying the other Rainmaker one. But I'll get that right over there. I'll try to work on spotting you a little bit. Able to punish that one player, able to get the other one too. Don't be there. Come on, if I can splat the one player who's really trying to get it. Uh, that was weird. I was looking right at them. I was holding the shoot button. Was not quite landing on them. Uh, I guess I can grab it. Sure, why not? And then right over there. Launching that over, not able to get a splat from it, but I'm able to get a good dunk right there. Roll backwards, and then, yeah, just try to keep things over here for a second. And then I see you over there. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come on, come on, come on. Can we get you, can we get you? You know, launch all that stuff over. One way or another, we're getting over there. Um, I see you over here. We lost the Rainmaker somehow through all that. I just want to get over here. They are not happy with that idea. And I fell. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Okay, I can jump over to there at the least. I mean, we pushed it really far. I was just trying to keep them back while my teammates caught up. Unfortunately, not gonna go that way. Um, but I can maybe just go over here, give you a hard time, fall off again. I'm playing like a goof right now. They have that Rainmaker, they're really making it difficult. Ooh, get back over. They didn't quite see me. You see me, but I think I can get you. Yeah, before you can even touch me at the moment. Um, Gonna let them pop it, and then as soon as they try to grab it, maybe I can just give them an issue or something like that. 
Whoa, whoa. The double splatter is actually huge because then I can just jump up here and try to get you. Uh, hey guys, um, if I could just get by you really quick, really quick, there it is. <laughs> Oh man, that was crazy. So we were able to get a really sneaky win there. I just sort of went right past them. Unfortunate for them, I think there was a bit of a mad scramble and because of that, they started missing shots. I get that, I like that all the time. But we get three gold medals there, the record score setter, score booster, and overall splatter. That is another really electrifying win. So we only need two more of those to get through this. Will it happen? I'm not quite sure. So far we're on this win one, lose one. So you never know what might happen next round. All right, so now we're actually at Mahi Mahi Resort. I think this could actually turn out really well with this weapon. It's gonna be interesting to see if that's truly the case, but we need to get over here, try to spot you a little bit. I mean, with the help of some friends, I'm able to make that happen. Instead of picking up, whoa, 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 the Rainmaker here, I'm just gonna try to spot a couple more people. I was able to get two more knocked down there. A lot is going on here. I think I just wanna launch over this way, if possible. So far, this seems to be working quite well. Oh, actually, I'm trapped over here. I didn't notice that the water, whoa, I can't really go this way. I didn't, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't think I could have made that jump over there. I don't know, maybe I could have. I sort of just got scared. Um, we lost the lead with that too, so note to self, just don't go that way. <laughs> um, oh, I see you over this way, trying to give us all an issue. I can get a pretty easy spot, I would hope, but not quite. Okay, I'm just gonna roll towards you, and if you try to back up like that, I can get the easy spot there. I see you over this way, able to get that too. Launch that over there then. I'm still getting destroyed by a bunch of stuff. I can only keep up with so much there, but the 52 gallon got me. Uh, we have the Rainmaker though, so hopefully my teammates can bring it a little bit farther. We've taken the lead too, so huge booyahs to my teammates. If I can just get back here really quickly, put one of these down, preserve my ink as the water lowers, Okay, okay, off we go then. Um, I do see some, whoa, players over here really trying to make the most out of that rain wall I see. Um, whatever's called the ink wall. Here, get up this way then. Really use the height to my advantage. They're still able to get me because I'm not very good at the game. <laughs> but our teammates are busy fighting. We have the Rainmaker again. We lost the Rainmaker again. I think it might just be smarter to go over this way then. Jump up like this, my favorite little maneuver to do on this map, but it might not be enough. I'm getting bounced around all over the place. I damaged a lot of them down, but not enough to secure a spot any one of those times. And while this is happening, they're just getting their, their stuff secured. So can we please stop that? There we go. They lost the Rainmaker, but were they able to get the checkpoint? Not quite. Man, what a turnaround there. Okay, roll out of the way of all that stuff. Never mind. Ooh, this is not good. This is basically as bad as it can go. They're getting a major turnaround here because we just, I think we got overconfident with some of the moves there for sure. I'm trying to get over here, splat some players. We got one over there and I got one over there. That's two. If you guys can take care of the rest, it'd be fantastic. Oh man. Come on, come on. We're in the lead at the moment still, but keeping it like that might be a challenge among all challenges. This team seems to be so determined. They get me again with that blob lobber or whatever it's called, yeah, the blob lobber. Such a tough weapon to come up on. The range and the damage just makes for such a crazy combo. But we're gonna get back over here. A lot of turf to cover too, so maybe I can get my special out, but if I can just get out here, do this. I see you trying to cause issues over this way, so if I can just get do away with you, get over here, because a lot of my teammates are on the other side, which means that their teammates, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? Please make the jump. No, 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 no. What is going on? I'm getting stuck here in the ink. Why did you jump to me? Why? I mean, somehow they didn't notice, so. I guess that's good. That was probably the worst play I've ever done in my entire life. They have that Rainmaker. We are so close to winning this one. Oh, what? Wait, I'm so confused. That was not a wipeout, first off. Uh, they still had two players up. I'm really confused on what just happened. Did they have like disconnected players or something? Uh. I'm not quite sure, but at this point, we can use time to our advantage. Okay, they were get, getting splatted. I see this, whoa, not you. I'm scared of you, you do too much. I see you over this way, though. I can almost get you. Ah, not able to get you. Jeez, I feel like I'm making a lot of mistakes this round so far, but our team is really fighting for it. They're playing amazing. Okay, I'm able to hop down here. I gotta be really focused in the catch up to them, but their teammates might end up getting me for it. We'll see, we'll see. Um, it's the last minute remaining here. Put a stop to it, please. They won! Oh my 
goodness, that is awful. I guess I should have stayed up there and defended, but they were able to turn it around on us, and that means we're out for the count. That was our third loss, such a shame. We were so close to winning, and then I made some huge mistakes. So honestly, I'll sort of take the fall for that one. I think that we probably mostly lost because of me. <laughs> Sorry guys, I tried my best. But they were able to get that crazy comeback one, and they also played super well. That was another thing, but we get three silver medals. It's something. I think overall we'll, we'll gain more points than we lost, right? So we got 171, yeah, still plenty more. So we're at a spot where next episode, or maybe sometime soon we can try a rank up battle. I, whenever I get a weapon, I'm super confident with, I suppose. But I think that's all we wanna do here. Uh, that was really cool regardless. So let's get over here. We, we played overall quite well in today's episode, I feel, um, with the custom dually squelchers. We get three of those, and then I'll get over here and just sort of see what uh, Judd has to say. Meow. Meow. Wondering what the star me on gear means? That's how much star power each item has. Gear with three stars can have three secondary abilities. That's good. Check out the shops for items that come with lots of star powers by default. You can also rebuy an item you already own to raise the star power. Merch knows more, he's in the square. Go, go make your gear be all it can be. Very cool, so a little bit more information for gear there. So definitely let me know your thoughts on the custom dually squelchers. And with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.